We're talking baseball with Brian Stoll and Chris Duncan, exclusively on 101sports.com. Welcome back to 101sports.com with Chris Duncan. I'm Brian Stoll, another edition of Talking Baseball. The Cardinals in the Big Apple getting ready for a series with the Mets. Kyle McClellan getting ready to take the mound. He went seven innings his last outing. Important, good to see him going uh, deeper into games finally. Big start for McClellan. Si since the hip injury, he really hasn't pitched well. McClellan's really getting an opportunity with the Wainwright injury this year to get into the rotation. That's what he's always wanted. He's proven himself in the bullpen, but these next two starts are huge. There's been a lot of trade rumors about acquiring a starting pitcher. If they do that, McClellan moves back to the bullpen. He's trying to prove that he belongs in that rotation. Big start for him. Yeah, big start for Kyle McClellan. And let's spend a moment on that. As much as everybody wants to say, oh, Kyle McClellan, yeah, he could go back to the bullpen. He'd be a team player, take one for the team. That, there are big ramifications financially if Kyle McClellan has to move back to the bullpen. Kyle McClellan's arbitration eligible. You look at what relievers get in arbitration, you're talking about 1.2 to maybe max 1.5 million. You're a starting pitcher in Major League Baseball. You win 10 to 15 games, you're looking at $5 million guaranteed. Huge ramifications for Kyle McClellan. This is life-changing type of money. I know he wants to be a team player, and he'll do what the team needs him to do, but at the same time, he moves back to the bullpen. You're looking at that costing him a lot of money. Yeah, and that underscores, again, it would have to be a significant move. It's not just a case of bringing a starting pitcher in. It would have to be somebody significant that, one, is better than Kyle McClellan because, again, the Cardinals are going to have to uh, I agree with you. He'd, he'd be a good teammate and he wants to win, but you've got to make sure it's the right move for all the right reasons. It's got to be a starting pitcher that's a, a big name, a guy that can come in, a guy that's more proven than McClellan, a guy that's got better stuff than McClellan. Those guys are hard to get, but if you can improve your rotation by getting a guy like that and m move McClellan back to the bullpen, you're improving your team. Now, speaking of the bullpen, let's talk about a former Cardinals closer. In fact, the all-time leading saves leader for the Cardinals, Jason Isringhausen. He's getting that first opportunity in New York since they've traded K-Rod. Uh, 293, as we currently talk about his situation, seven saves away. Think he's going to get to that magical 300? I hope so. This guy's been through so much adversity the last few years. Multiple Tommy John surgeries. He's had the hip surgeries. He hasn't had a save since 2008. This guy's been trying to get that 300 save for a long time. One of the great guys in baseball. He was one of the favorites in the clubhouse in St. Louis. This is a guy that I really hope can get the 300 saves and maybe be a guy that's considered for the Hall of Fame one day. That's Chris Duncan. I'm Brian Sull. This has been Talking Baseball for 101 ESPN on 101sports.com.